turnaround for the ages. LSU has captured its very first national championship. A lot of years lead up to the LSU Women's Basketball National Championship. In 1975, LSU created women's basketball as a varsity sport. From our 1975 team to our 2023 National Championship team, there's been a lot of accomplishments. They've had 40 winning seasons, played in 28 NCAA tournaments, played in six Final Four NCAA games, and won one NCAA National Championship, which we'll be looking at today. Let's go to the start of the season in November of 2022. We started off the season with Coach Kim Mulkey. Coach Kim joined LSU women's basketball as head coach in April 2021 after leaving the Baylor women's basketball team. A little history about Coach Kim is she became the first person in NCAA women's basketball history to win a national championship as a player, assistant coach, and head coach. She also was an Olympic gold medalist in 1984. Coach Kim also had the title of the most successful player turned coach in college basketball history. Then we had the captains of the team, Angel Reese and Emily Ward. Angel Reese, who was number 10, played small forward and power forward. She was a senior at LSU at the time, majoring in communication and listed as six foot three inches. Emily Ward, who was number 11, also played forward as well as Angel. She was also a senior at LSU at the time, majoring in digital advertising and listed as five foot 11 inches. We were actually fortunate enough to get an interview with Emily to help describe the championship season to us. What was the beginning of the season like? So at the beginning of last season was very similar to every preseason with Mulkey. Um, we would practice for four hours every single day in October. We'd get there probably at like noon. Um, practice would start at 1.30. And then we'd practice until 5.30 every day. And then we would get treatment and get in the cold tubs, hot tubs, whatever afterwards. And then probably leave at like 6.30, 7.30. And then go get food. And then go do our homework at home. Um, but we were just there in the gym every day. That was before we started playing games. So we would do a lot of drills and stuff, just working on us. Like we didn't have to do scouting reports or anything like that. Um, so just a lot of drills, kind of learning how to play with each other and just kind of getting the feel of knowing each other because it's still kind of all new at that point. Um, and then <laughs> when we started playing games, you know, everyone said we had an easy schedule, um, but the practice were, practices were still very similar. We do a lot of stuff on us, um, but we would also mix in a little bit of scouting report for them. Um, so yeah. <laughs> The first game of the season was LSU versus Mississippi College. LSU won this game 62 to 29. After that, they had 24 wins until their first loss against South Carolina. The score was 64 to 88. Five winning games later, they had another loss against Tennessee where the score was 67 to 69. But this didn't stop the Lady Tigers. After the Tennessee game, they went on to win five more games until the national championship game against Iowa. Even with the odds against them, the Lady Tigers won against Iowa with a score of 102 to 85. So the aftermath is crazy. Um, I remember we won Sunday, we came back early Monday to Baton Rouge, and then we were all exhausted because like I said, like, the final four was that weekend, but we got back from the Sweet 16 games super late one night, and then we had one day of rest, and then we had to leave for Dallas. So it was like a very quick turnaround. So we were all honestly just exhausted. Um, but so came back Monday, like Wednesday or something, baseball had a game, and we wanted they wanted to recognize us. Um, that's when Alexis Morris threw the first pitch there. And then softball went to recognize us. It was like everyone wanted to see us and recognize us, but we were also so tired. Um, and cause this March Madness is draining in general too. Um, and then we had our parade on Wednesday. Um, 
or maybe not, I don't know, whenever it was, which was a blast, that was so awesome. And then it's like, okay, then we had a bunch of other things. We still had the White House, which that didn't come till a little bit later, but it was just like, we had all this stuff as a team, which I'm incredibly grateful for. Like, it was such a cool experience. Like, we went to White House, SBs, um, all of these other games. They wanted us to go to a Pelicans game. You get recognized there, but like the time didn't work out or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's just everyone wanted to celebrate us and meet us and talk to us, um, which is just cool. Like our lives have definitely changed from that. Um, not many people can say they went out their senior year winning a national championship. Um, so yeah, it was just cool. Just a very cool thing. This national championship has impacted women's LSU basketball future and will set a new standard for the future Lady Tigers.